Andres Bonifacio was born on November 30, 1863, in Manila, Philippines. He is known as the father of the Philippine Revolution against Spanish colonization. Bonifacio founded the revolutionary organization, Katipunan, in 1892, which fought for independence against Spanish rule. He led the rebels in several battles, including the Battle of Pinaglabanan. the Battle of San Juan del Monte Bonifacio was eventually arrested and put on trial by the Philippine Revolutionary Government. He was executed on May 10, 1897, at the age of 33, but his legacy as a national hero lives on in the Philippines. The Pinaglabanan Shrine, located in San Juan City, is a historical landmark that commemorates the Battle of Pinaglabanan during the Philippine Revolution. The shrine features a monument and a museum that showcases the events and heroes of the revolution. It also serves as a venue for cultural and educational programs, allowing visitors to learn more about the country's struggle for independence. The Pinaglabanan Shrine is a must-visit for anyone interested in Philippine history and a reminder of the sacrifices made by our forefathers for our freedom. Emilio Jacinto was a Filipino revolutionary and writer who played a crucial role in the Philippine Revolution against Spanish colonialism. He was born on December 15, 1875, in Manila and was a member of the Katipunan, a revolutionary society founded by Andres Bonifacio, Jacinto, popularly known as the Brains of the Katipunan, wrote important documents for the society, including the Cartilla ng Katipunan, which outlined the principles and ethics of the revolutionaries. He died at the young age of 24 due to malaria, but his contribution to the revolution remains significant. Jose Rizal was born on June 19, 1861, in Calamba, Laguna, Philippines. He was a multifaceted man, known for being a national hero, ophthalmologist, writer, and revolutionary. Rizal's most influential works include his novels, Noli Metangere, and El Filibusterismo, which exposed the corruption of the Spanish colonial government, and his essays advocating for peaceful reform, he was executed by the Spanish government on December 30, 1896, at the age of 35, igniting the Philippine Revolution and ultimately leading to the country's independence from Spain. Today, Rizal's legacy remains an important part of Philippine history and culture. El Deposito in San Juan City, Philippines has a rich history back to the Spanish colonial period, originally built as a water reservoir in the late 1800s. It served as a vital source of water for the nearby towns of Mandaluyong and San Juan. The iconic structure has survived many disasters and was later transformed into a venue for cultural and civic events. Today, El Deposito continues to be an important landmark and a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the Filipino people. The Philippines is a country rich in history and culture, with brave national heroes who have made significant contributions to the nation, Jose Rizal, Andres Bonifacio, and Emilio Jacinto are just a few of the heroes who fought for their country's independence and inspired others to join the cause. These heroes instilled courage, selflessness, and patriotism among Filipinos, and their legacies continue to inspire generations. Their boldness and sacrifices paved the way for a free and sovereign Philippines today. Their contributions have made an impact on the nation's identity, and they are forever etched in the hearts and minds of the Filipino people.